Well, Channel 7 News at the Arkansas State Fairgrounds today for an educational event ahead of the eclipse. It brought together students from uh, several school districts with interests in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Channel 7's Ashley Butler attended the event and joins us now here in our studio with more. Ashley. Chris, this event is a joint project highlighting STEM education in advance of the upcoming historic solar eclipse. Four districts and 40,000 students came together to participate in the Totality STEM event. Making up districts from Jacksonville, North Pulaski, Little Rock, North Little Rock, and Pulaski County Special School Districts. That's why we're doing this to tell kids you can be anybody and anyone you want to be. Just have to stay in school and be positive and keep trucking along. Giving students the opportunity to showcase their work in areas of STEM while engaging in demonstrations or project displays. Did you know energy, energy tries to travel in the straightest way as possible? If I take away this blue, blue flashlight, it makes a yellow oranges. If I take away the red, it makes cyan. But if I take away the green, it makes magenta. With these mirrors, I am reflecting and refracting. Making up students from K to 8th grade, all with similar passions. This event is kind of like showing off what you've learned in your robotics class, like things you've made or learned in these classes. And with the real experiences of guest speakers like Dr. Chris Jones, a former Air Force veteran. I like about science is when I can make volcanoes, uh, learn how they work and what's inside of them. The goal of this event is to educate and make students aware of the phenomenon of a solar eclipse. On your side in the studio, I'm Ashley Butler. Okay, the impressive future scientists of America, Ashley, thanks very much. That event, by the way, was hosted by the four school districts.